<laughs> so the official word from Supreme Ventures Racing and Entertainment Limited, the new horse racing subsidiary of Supreme Ventures Limited, is that they have registered a record $508.6 million in sales for the month of August, the most profitable month in the history of Cayman Ass Park Racing. And there is great optimism that this trend will continue. <laughs> <laughs> now, this almost miraculous turnaround in the fortunes of local racing. We're talking about months of new operations, and the thing changed already, almost from chalk to cheese. So, why the devil did it take so long for the right things to be done at Caymanas Park? All those years and decades we've been hearing about the myriad of problems facing local racing, from the claiming system to the stock of the horses, the physical infrastructure to the image and appeal of racing. All it really needed was some money and some prudent management. And as we're seeing now, the gambling turn up, prize monies are better and are being paid out promptly. Horses getting better care and thus improving. More races being run, Better races being run and money filling up the kitty. <laughs> I mean, a billion or a billion and a half dollars put up as security. No turning over half a billion dollars a month. That is a killing. And all along the impression was that racing is beyond repair and will never be viable and blah, blah, blah. Somebody never understand something and was misleading the public. I mean, we understand that any major change of this magnitude will result in a bump, most times a positive bump. But still may I say, if the thing was so easy to turn around, why the devil it takes so long to turn it round? <laughs> and may I say, why it takes so long? Why would it take so long for turn on? Why would it take so long? No, it takes so long for turn on the thing, man. Turn it wrong! <laughs>